Hi, this is Hank Hanegraaff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplugged short. This one may be a bit difficult for me to do. I just opened an email from my son, David. The email is replete with a caption that reads, Snake Preview of your new grandchild. The attachment, well, it shows a 20 week old preborn child, a preborn child replete with a beautifully formed hand in, in well, sort of a pensive pose reminiscent of the famed Rodin thinker. The expression on our new grandbaby's face uh, will no doubt live forever on the canvas of my consciousness. As I look at the picture, even now the phrase follow the science is reverberating through my mind. Why is that? Well, because arguably the most powerful human being in the free world, perhaps on the planet, a man who used to, in spurts at least, follow the science, now candidly admits that he no longer believes what he once did, namely that life begins at conception. His rebuttal is simplistically codified in, in two words. The words don't agree. Hard to believe in a world in which we can not only examine or follow the science, but look lovingly at the face and the features of the child via a sonogram. A day in which we can can see the exquisite hands I'm looking at right now, that people are willing to continue to call this beautiful child and multiplied millions of others like this beautiful child, simply products of conception. I looked on the web this morning and uh, looked at the abortion meter. The world abortion meter shows this year 29,478,604 abortions. And even as I'm saying this, the number has risen to the seven or eight hundreds because the meter keeps ticking. When will we finally come to our senses and follow the science? Or at least, as I did this morning, look at the beautiful face and features, the exquisite hands, of a pre-born child on a sonogram. So long for now.